Buckeyes haven't done a lot this year, but key if you're going to take that record crowd out of the game. I, I thought it was very important for us to score early and, and try to quieten that crowd down because we've already talked about how loud it is up there, although that is not the, the loudest stadium in this conference. It, it was the biggest crowd, and, of course, they were pumped up. You know, They were ready to ready to put us away, but uh, we came out there ready to play, and uh, you know, I thought the offensive line did a better job this week, and the defense certainly played great, I thought, throughout the course of the ballgame. There's great effort right there, but uh, uh, that's James Cotton, number 52, making the play. No game they ran this Anthony. counter sweep at us a lot. Uh, their back carried the ball over 30 times. Anthony Thomas, I thought for the most part we did a nice job containing him. We get the ball back, good field position, play action pass. Uh, Steve Belisari there being a good athlete he is, makes a couple guys miss him and picks up the first down. Nine yards on the pickup, big play early on, and uh, Ohio State grabbing the momentum in good field position. Toss sweep back to Michael Wiley, real good blocking. Michael uh, almost popped this one. Did a nice job making our safety miss him. We don't get a block of, on the back side of the play, and their defensive halfback comes across the field and knocks Michael out of bounds. Pickup of 26 on the play and first and goal here on second and well, goal. Well, a great effort here by Kevin Hauser, our senior tight end, number 87. They had their, their safety made a nice play on it, number two. But uh, Kevin, being the big, strong athlete he is, put the ball in the end zone. Senior finds his way in for six for the second time this season. Then it's back to Michigan offense. Again, you can see we're stuffing, the, stuffing that play at the point of attack right there. That's uh, Brent Johnson, number 60, making the play, our defensive end. Loss of five there. Brady back to pass. That's uh, Niall Diggs, number 32, I think, got credit for that sack on the bottom of the pile. Niall's a good football player. He should have a great year for us next year. Loss of nine and putting a lot of pressure on the Michigan Wolverines and taking the lead into the second quarter of this game. Again, we're trying to put a little pressure on them there. They throw a little, little out pattern, and that's our defensive captain, Mid Plummer, making the tackle. We got, a, we got a little better pressure here. Now, this is, a, this is a nice call on their part. They caught us. We're blitzing, and they dumped the ball off of their fullback, and he makes a nice run down the sideline. This is going to set up their first touchdown. Nice call. Nice call by Michigan's offensive coordinator. It's Anthony Thomas. Pick up a 32 there. Sets up this touchdown run of a yard. And a tie ball game. Seven apiece. Thomas is a good football player. He's, a, he's, he's gained over 1,000 yards rushing this year. We come back here. This, this is the best ball game Jamar Martin has played for us here. You can see him, a big fullback, running over a couple of their defensive backs. Carried the ball a couple times in the first half there and had some good and nice yardage. Jamar, Jamar is only a sophomore, going to be a good football player. Picked up 21 yards there, and then up top to Van Ness Proven. Van Ness made a nice catch, a ball slightly behind him, number 83 right there out of Warren Harding High School. 19 yards on the pickup, and the big, big man again. Back again. Running hard up the middle. That's nice blocking, good play call. Nice blocking there by the offensive line. 15 yards by Jamar Martin. Why right not? Back here, and Jamar's wide open. Why not? In the flat play action pass, and again, that put the Buckeyes back up on top again. Ohio State 14 to 7 at that point, taking the lead and quieting down that crowd just a bit. Defense still getting it done here. We're playing a lot of players up front. Uh, our defensive linemen, all these guys come back except James Cotton. Can't tell exactly who got that sack, but that's that was Cotton, that's and James he made, made a great play for the James senior Cotton, there. Number 52 made the play. Here comes their fullback up the middle, and we got to get him down. That's Nate Clements making the play. Number 20, sophomore defensive back. 20 yards on the pickup. Time running out in the first this half. The first half. Been nice to pick this one up and score right before halftime. That's the last play of the first half. 14 still, to 7. But still a nice way to go into the first. Yeah, the play calling and, and the defensive uh, side of the ball. Everybody getting the job done so far, it seems. Uh, I, yeah, I thought I thought both offense and defense here. We come out here in the second half. You know, get, trying to get Stevie outside a little bit. We'll have to do a lot more of that with him next year. Get him out on the corner so he can operate. Uh, we got him back in the pocket. He throws the ball down the middle, and you can see it's overthrown, and their and their defensive back right there, number 15, makes the interception. This, these kind of plays really hurt you. After a positive 16-yard pickup, it's Patman with the interception, a 30-yard run back. You cannot throw the ball late, or you cannot throw the ball high down the middle. Those are two cardinal sins. They come out again with a little screen, and you can see we made some halftime adjustments, and. Niall Diggs right there and Jason Ott, number 30, uh, along with Nate Clemens, really makes a nice play. Big play there on third and seven, which sets up a fourth and 12 after the five-yard loss. And, yep. Uh, nice field goal. Field goal there, 32 yards there in a 14-10 to 10 ball game right now. The ensuing kickoff to Kenyon Rambo. Kenyon fumbles that one and picks it up and gets good blocking. I thought he, I thought he was going to take this one all the way. He's out in the open field here now, cuts back, and uh, you can see the pursuit caught up with him. 
Nice run back though. That gave us good field position. Absolutely. 50 yards plus on that run back and Michael Wiley again. Michael making some good guys missing there at the line of scrimmage. Michael Wiley is a good football player. We're going to miss him. Pickup of 12 there. Fourth down. And we run a little halfback pass. Michael did a great job holding on to the ball and of course hit Kenyon Rambo for a first down. Seen it Michael, before, you Michael, just can't stop it. <laughs> I think Michael was like, what, 13 out of 14 or something like that? In his career, yeah. Danny he's, Stoltz he's pretty comes solid. on here and kicks a field goal. 27 yards and 17 to 10. The bulge is back up to a touchdown difference. We got them on the ropes. We got to hold them back here now. Again, they throw a little flare pass, and you can see we got nice pursuit. Coming outside, we miss a couple of tackles. And uh, Thomas is a good football player. Number 32 picks up enough yards there for a first down. Pick up of 15, then good, a big play by Nate Clemens. Good coverage right there by Nate Clemens. They got a little crossing pattern there. We're playing man coverage. Loss of one on the pass play and up top again in defense. Ah, this is a this is a bad play here. We don't pursue the backside end, gets caught inside, and their quarterback pulls the ball down there and runs for first down. 16 yards for Tom Brady, and here's a big defensive play that won't count. Yeah, this they call us for holding on this play. I'd like to see a replay of that one. This is a fine interception by Gary Berry and a nice run back. We're going to have the ball way down on their end of the field. But unfortunately, they call this one back. These penalties just absolutely killed us in the ball game. Huge they call back. defensive holding. It's amazing. We had 13 penalties in the ball game for 115 yards. They had one penalty for seven yards. And you never got an explanation for what the call was. No, holding there. Nice play right there by. Michael Doss, number two, knocks the ball out of the quarterback's hands. Ben, but don't break. And Defense Clinton, doesn't. Clinton Wayne, that's number 90. Clinton Wayne makes the makes a play. Jonathan Wells. So we need to score here. Jonathan Wells gets the ball outside, runs over number two, their defensive back. I thought he was gone. He's down the sideline. Down the sideline, sort of run out of gas and got caught on the six-yard line. This this is this is really crucial right here, Jeff. You need to score. You got the momentum. We need to get out of that huddle and get up there and score. But unfortunately. We don't get any points out of this. We miss a field goal. A little bit of a bad snap. Uh, kicker's timing was a little bit off. And now we got the ball backed up. And it, there again, you're throwing the ball late down the middle. And this uh, Ian Goal, their fine linebacker, makes the interception. And not only makes a good interception, returns the ball back uh, down to about our seven yard line. That would set up the tying score of the game. Nice play here. Nice play call. You can see their tight end is open. Complete to Thompson for the touchdown from <coughs> there, first and goal at the eight. I tied the ball game up 17 all. Really the first time the crowd got back in that game into the third quarter as we move to the final stanza of play here. All even. Joe Cooper flushing the quarterback out of the pocket here. And that's James Cotton, number 52. James Cotton really had a nice career for the Buckeyes. Only played two years as a junior college transfer. Michael up the middle. Wiley plus 15 on the carry there. Approaching 100 yards for Wiley. Stevie slipped a little bit, got the ball to Van S. Provid, and we fumbled the football again. Boy, that's a key turnover. We're driving for what could have been the go ahead touchdown, and now they got the ball. They come out a little. That's a third down. That's a, boy, that's a crucial play right here. That's a third down a pass. Linebacker leaves a tight end open, and the, a little percentage pass, and uh, they, they, they make a nice drive here to win the ball game. 17-yard pickup right, there. Come on, he's got forever to throw the football. Both of our defensive ends were dropping on that particular play. So you can see, Walker. You can't give the quarterback that much time to throw the ball. Secondary, there is no way you can cover receivers that long. This one complete for the touchdown. Michigan takes a 24 to 17 lead after the Marquise Walker touchdown. Couple last cracks at it. Now we get sacked on this particular play. And then the fourth down play, you can see we got a receiver open down the middle, but the ball is under throw. I think this might be the last play of the game. This is intended for Reggie Germany. Ball falls to the turf. A lot of disappointed Buckeye fans, 24 to 17, uh, when you approach a ball game like that and, and nobody gave you a world of chance. It, it sure kept the fans in it for a while. Yeah, it? Jeff, and, and again, I, I keep getting back to the effort mm -hmm. we gave. I'm, I'm just, I just uh, you know, I'm sorry. I apologize to the fans. I'm sorry we didn't give that kind of effort all season long. If we had it, we'd had a lot, we'd have we'd won a lot more football games. I told the senior football players that. I told our football team that in the locker room. I never want to go through another year like we had this year. And, uh, our players know that we're going to have a very demanding offseason program. We're going to get with it. We're going to have a better football team next.